I get to speak to a lot of people around this country in different walks of life. And often I talk to many of our nation's heroes. And it's often in the context of the military, the men and women fighting on the front lines. And you know, that's good, that's great. But every now and then I have a chance to speak with a group like this. Community heroes who are fighting for us and saving lives on the front lines here at home. Every day you go to work knowing that there's a chance that you might not come home. And I know your jobs are about more than just putting out fires, which is no easy task in and of itself. You're the folks pulling people out of crushed vehicles, performing rescue missions in swift water and from high angle cliffs. You're the brave men and women fighting raging wildfires, like where I'm from in California, and those tornadoes and natural disasters that have terrible tolls across this country. But you're also, more importantly, mothers and fathers. You're our neighbors and you're our friends. And you're the same people that volunteer at PTA meetings and at the Little League and Pop Warner. You're the folks that show up, the people that go out there and take care of our neighbors. You're the public servants through and through. And you deserve jobs worthy of that service, jobs that will allow you to pay your bills, support your families, send your kids to college, and save money for a retirement. Jobs that give to you as much as you've given to your communities and to our country. That's the promise America has always kept with those who work hard. And that's what President Barack Obama and I are fighting for. That's why we pumped over a billion dollars into the SAFER program that saved or created 8,000 fire service jobs. We know that the single most important thing we need to do is to get more Americans back to work. But we've got some real opposition on the other side. We're up against folks in Washington and across this country who have a different version of that America. They see an America where those at the top get more and those at the middle and at the bottom get less. An America where the needs of politicians trump those of the people they were elected to serve. And I mean, just look at what happened to the American Jobs Act. That was a jobs bill that would have put thousands, thousands of firefighters, teachers, and cops back on the beat. We were so grateful, and I was personally grateful, to stand with you on this issue, and I thank you for your support. But look, not one single Republican in the Senate voted for that bill. Not one. Republicans in the House wouldn't even bring the bill to a vote. You know why? Most of them didn't like the way we paid for it. They said that asking millionaires to pay a little bit more was class warfare. Well, you know what? I don't think they get it. It isn't about class warfare. It isn't about being rich or poor or being a Democrat or a Republican. It's about fairness. It's about balance. It's about everyone chipping in and, and paying their fair share. This is about giving the middle class and all those trying to get into it a fighting chance, a fair shot to get ahead. But we can't do it alone. We've got to roll up our sleeves because we've got a lot of people out there that would prefer to see us go backwards, to keep things back the way they were some 40 and 50 years ago. But I'll tell you, this administration, this labor secretary are not going to stand still and wait for something to happen. We've got to make it happen. That's why I'm here today, and I'm proud to stand with you. But we've got more to do. We've got to bring about change, change that the president and many people have been talking about for a long time. Believe me, believe me, I never, ever in my wildest dreams ever thought that I would be standing here before groups like you because nobody ever told me that I could, but nobody ever told me I couldn't. And so I had to challenge myself. And it came from other good people mentoring me, moving me along, saying it's okay to step out, to take risks, to challenge yourself, to do something a little different. And there's nothing wrong with that because you know what? That is the American way, right? That is the American way. <laughs>